All right, guys, we are just about at the finish line for the strain, but we still got one or two more discussions coming, so let's talk about it. So the strain, episode 11, the third rail. The third rail is where now it's all going down. Um, we have our group getting ready to go into the sewers and fight off the master, and that is really the highlight of the episode. But actually, before we get onto that, um, one of the most intense parts was with um, uh, F's son, because uh, he's with the Alzheimer's mom from Nora, and he's got to go and get her cigarettes, even though he's not supposed to leave, and because everyone's looting and rioting, I'm like, but the, the kid is just out there. That was intense, but what we really want to talk about is we're going down to the sewers to fight. Because it's about time we fought back, I would say, anyway. Because, you know, we've been getting our balls kicked in by vampires for the past, I don't know, few days, however long it's been. They haven't really said, I forgot off the top of my head. But, you know, we're going down into the sewers, and... They're sneaking around on the railways, and they have a really intense segment with a train. Loved that part. Um, but they see the vampires, and I love that Satrakian lets them know, you know, if we kill one, the Master's gonna know we're here. We don't exactly want to just be like, hey, Master. Because, you know, that would just be royally stupid. And, you know, it continues to prove the point that, uh, Satrakian is just a straight-up awesome dude. Yeah! yeah, I made pimp Satrakian. You saw it here first. I told you I would do it. Okay, so, as they're sneaking through, um, ultimately, they're going to, no matter what, have a conflict. But you can kind of see that F is... He's really affected from the beginning because he keeps thinking he's seeing his wife. When he goes around thinking he's seeing his wife, it's really thrown off the operation. And Satrakian's like, dude, if we screw up here, we may not get another chance. And F's just kind of like, I need to find my wife. Where's my family? I, I like that. It was intense. Uh, especially when they're sneaking over the sleeping bodies. That was... Ooh. And once again, Fett being awesome is sort of narrating to them the sewers and the railways and how well he knows it. And you really get this sense that they're a lot safer with Fett there. And it kind of continues that he's awesome. And I love how they're kind of remarking back and forth. Uh, someone did point out to me on last week's discussion that, you know, they're playing up that they don't like each other too much because in the books, they actually did all get along. And at first you could see that in like the intro of the episode where, you know, they were building that bomb. And then all of a sudden it just happened again where they, they don't like each other anymore. And I like that they're remarking, you know, like, up end of the world, this is your wet dream, Fett. And Fett's basically just like, well, you know, whatever works, I don't care. When this episode hits, it hits hard. All of a sudden, the vampires start waking up, and they're on their way to our crew. And there's that tiny tunnel, and they have to go through it, and it was so claustrophobic and intense. But what really started to cause problems was F starts hearing his wife screaming, and she's like, help me, help me, and I'm just like, it's a trap! Basically, everyone knows it, and Fett does the awesome thing when the vampires are coming. He's basically just like, I'll hold him off. And Nora, with a gun... Nora's so hot, by the way. I just had to point it out there. Nora is hot, and with a gun... Whew, they decide to hold him off for a bit, and then they finally go through, and... Where's F? So, they're trying to recuperate, and they don't even see Satrakian, because Satrakian's gone through at this point. And he's pissed off because he needed help getting through the tunnel. And of course, who's there? Nobody. And Fett is getting stuck, but they help Fett, of course, because, you know, it's Fett and everyone else can be dependable. But F all of a sudden is hearing Kelly, so he's disappeared, so Satrakian's chasing after him. And now this is where we get our real meat of the story. But, going back a little bit... We have our other crew on the home front, as I would call it, where Zack is going to 
get cigarettes for Nora's mother. Uh, Zach and Gus cross paths, but Gus's story is rough. I didn't remember it much from the books. It wasn't as detailed as obviously the television show, but Gus basically goes back home after he's gotten out of this prison problem, and he goes back and he finds his brother and he just Waste him, but all of a sudden he hears the scratching around the doors, and you just know it. And he's his mother's there, and she's a vampire, and you're just like, oh, oh. And I think everyone has been in that situation, not where they have to kill their mother, but where it's like that nightmare situation that there's something like that that happens that you can't get away from. And he acts it perfectly, like my God, his performance was stellar. And you just kind of see him change at that point. He picks up the axe, and he becomes the warrior for good. They cross paths, and you see how nice Gus is. I love Gus. And he just looks at Zack, and he's kind of like, you know, get out of here, kid. This is dangerous. And you just see that he cares, and I love that. So you see F, and he finds the coffin, and he's basically just like, Aah! you know, he's all mad because he wants to get this done. And he's looking for Kelly, and then you see him. The master just comes out of nowhere, and oh, that scene is so intense. Tell me, you guys, that scene was not intense. Where you see him, like, on the ceiling, and he comes down, and he just picks him up. He is enormous. And he picks up F, and he's basically just like, you are weak. I should break you. Because, you know, he's basically the Russian boxer in Rocky 49. You know, that scene was so great. It was tense. You really get a good look at the master. They all know the master. And then, you know, the bad guy's doing his monologue and thing, and all the vampires are surrounding them. And the vampire is monologuing and monologuing. And then you hear it. You hear the sheen of the sword, and it's Satrakian. Yeah! Because you know he's that awesome, and he's this old dude, and he's about to stand up to the master, and he's basically just like, bring it, motherfucker. Then, of course, everyone else comes in, and the exploding bomb goes off, and Satrakian just loses his mind, and he's just like, you idiots, you destroyed our chances, gah, I'm gonna... And, you know, he just goes off because, you know, they've really kind of blown their wad a little early. And I love that you just see him get all pissed off and he keeps going, but he's like on this war path now. And he's like, no, it ends tonight. And he's going in and they stop him because there is literally, this is one of the best shots in the show by far, is they throw the torch or the little flare into the tunnel and it opens up, and there are just hundreds of them. And they all kind of pause, and Satrakian just like, let me at him, I'm gonna kill him, because he's awesome. Yeah! This concludes our episode, but it was so stunningly great. This was what I read the strain for, actually. Um, where this episode pretty much starts, I was about to have a class at college, and I was sitting there, and, and I was reading the book, and I said, you know, this teacher's a douche, and this is awesome. I think I can miss today. There's no tests. All right, whatever. I'm not here. And I read the rest of the book that day. I'm in that room, actually, and... It was awesome and worth it, and I don't regret it. If any of my family is watching this video, I regret it. Solid episode. Um, we have one more episode, and then the two-hour season finale. I was thinking about doing something special for the season finale. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. I'm going to be formulating that in my brain. Till next time, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Love you guys.